Bhopal, India, 20 years after the devastating explosion of the Union Carbide factory, which killed more than 7,000 people in a single night. Today, many are still suffering from the after effects. About a half a million people were affected when the Union Carbide plant had a catastrophic gas leak, and about 150,000 of those people are permanently disabled um, as a result. Amnesty International did a report on the Bhopal survivors and the human rights abuses that are ongoing against the survivors, both by Dow Chemical, the current owner of Union Carbide, and also by the Indian government, which include um, Dow's refusal to clean up the site. Um, people are drinking water that's heavily poisoned with benzene, lead, nickel, mercury, cadmium, old pesticides. Um, there are people living right along the areas where the plant was as well as the areas where the plant disposed of waste. The biggest glaring injustice which really really got me worked up about this issue in the first place was that it's been 20 years and the site has not been cleaned up. In India and across the US Groups of people are campaigning to pressure Dow Chemical to take responsibility for the Bhopal disaster and provide help to the survivors. One such group is the Boston Coalition for Justice in Bhopal. We, in the, in the, the, the Boston um, uh, group, are now specifically trying to take action within the U.S. on directly targeting Dow for its... Um, for its criminal neglect. Uh, the big initiative that we're working on right now is uh, a city, we're trying to pass a city council resolution in Cambridge um, that will express support for the, the victims in Bhopal. Also, uh, it, the aim of it is to put pressure on Dow Chemical, which acquired Union Carbide. It's the company that owned the plant that released all that poisonous gas in 84. And uh, Dow Chemical supplies um, it's, it's supplies plentifully to various large institutions um, in the United States and specifically in Cambridge and um, our plan as of right now is to try and follow up on those two demands by uh, targeting by targeting the use of Dow Chemicals and by targeting shareholders who have a stake in Dow Chemicals and basically raising awareness about the Bhopal issue and calling for some kind of accountability. Why should Cambridge care? Why should you take a moment to sign a petition in support of Bhopal or take a moment out of your busy day um, to share your thoughts with your city councillors about why this matters? And I think the biggest reason is this is the symbolic largest chemical disaster and one of the largest corporate crimes that we have witnessed. Bhopal is one of the most powerful examples of the nightmare of corporate-driven globalization. The largest corporations have emerged as the principal governing institutions on the planet. And we have seen in Bhopal and Burma and Baton Rouge that these companies operate without an environmental health or human rights framework. We have learned in those 20 years that every child on the earth is being born with a host of toxic chemicals already in their bodies. We have learned that every mother on the planet is passing toxic chemicals to their newborns through gestation and breastfeeding. We have learned that all of us in this room and all of us that we know and all of us on the planet are carrying the poisons of the chemical industries in our bodies. The Bhopal disaster demonstrated that chemical facilities can be deadly to vast numbers of people if they blow up, either through accidents or negligence or because of a terrorist act. Yet in 20 years, the industry has done little to switch to safer chemicals that can provide us with greater security and safety. This reality has come home to us in a very powerful way since 9-11. According to the FBI, the CIA, and other federal agencies, there are 112 chemical plants nationwide that could cause a Bhopal-like catastrophe. As I stand here, the the chemical companies in the Bush administration are resisting any meaningful regulation that would require them to replace the most dangerous chemicals with safe substances. So you see, Bhopal has come home much closer in the last 20 years. Now we understand that protecting our families in Boston or New York is linked to protecting the families in Bhopal. We are all living under a similar poison cloud. If we do not bring Dow Chemical to justice for its Bhopal legacy, then we send a message to global corporations that it's okay to murder people and poison them in the pursuit of profit.
we need to hold DAO accountable if we want to see change. And so that's why I think Cambridge should take action in particular, um, because we have a history of really standing up for issues. We're a city for peace. We're a green city. We're working really hard to have a lot of environmental practices in Cambridge that are setting the stage for other cities to take action. And um, this resolution is one way that Cambridge can start a trend across the country.